give them the dissociation checklists and so on, and time and again they come back and it's dissociation. Now, it is actually the best kept secret. For some reason, people do not want people to know about this. I don't know why. But uh, I have found if you really want to help children that are traumatized, this is it. You need to find out about this. And specifically for parents who are uh, uh, living with an adopted child with multiple problems, or foster carers living with children with multiple problems, you may want to look into this. And at the end, I'm going to give you some resources that you on the internet can go in and look into. So, I want to help you to understand the origins of dissociation and to look at how does children give this to me? You know, how does this happen? And I'm also going to give some suggestions to help. Now, I need to say that although I am going to focus mainly on adopted children because that's where I specialize, this information is also uh, valuable for foster carers, therapists, youth workers, mental health workers, social workers, people who are working in this field. And I'm really excited because across the country there's an awakening that people are starting to think, do you know, we are so stuck with so many children and young people that people are starting to look at the possibility of dissociation. And very often that's the end of your search. And we do get amazing results. Mm -hmm.